Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, View Cryptos. Today we're gonna look at some news and we're also going to look at the current crypto prices. Bitcoin at the moment is sitting at around $10,625, Ethereum $351 and XRP approximately 24 cents. Let's get to the news. Crypto exchange KuCoin gets hacked. On Saturday, Singapore-based crypto exchange KuCoin suffered a security breach as the result of which a part of the crypto assets in the exchange's hot wallets were stolen. In order to keep your uh, cryptocurrency assets safe, it is best to use some kind of hardware wallet, like for example Ledger Nano X or S. Me personally, I prefer Ledger Nano X. Pantera Capital Crypto Funds report 100% returns amid DeFi craze. Pantera Capital is one of the largest investors, if not the largest, in Pol Polkadot's first token sale that raised $144 million. Pantera Capital is confirmed in the April 2018 materials to also have been the largest investor in the Origin Decentralized Data Sharing Protocol's token sale until new investors blurred the leading position along with 17 other token sales for decentralized technologies, including for Kyber, Icon, Amizigo, Zerox, and Enigma, in which it had the highest discount. These 18 token sales have raised at least $10 million each, adding up to over $500 million. The digital asset fund's holdings also include ETH, XRP, Zcash, and BAT. Bank of New York Mellon has been accused of playing a central role in the 4 billion Ponzi scheme OneCoin just days after the publication of the so-called FinCEN files. Let's look at the history of OneCoin. The history behind OneCoin is one filled with red flags. Founded in 2014, the Bulgaria-based company followed the typical structure of a multi-level marketing scheme but with a twist. There were no products or memberships to be peddled. Instead, there was a cryptocurrency that the promoters of one coin claimed to be the next Bitcoin. While the investigation leading up to the aforementioned class action lawsuit uncovered a sales revenue of around $4.4 billion, some sources who worked uh, closely with OneCoin claim that the scheme could have stolen up to approximately $20 billion. There was not a lack of warning from central banks and other government agencies, however, people all over the world still fell for it. So guys, be aware of scams, do your own research before investing, and it is very important to continue to do your research after you invest in any project. Why? Because it's important to keep up with the news, to keep up uh, with uh, the developments related to the crypto projects that you have uh, invested in. And uh, if something goes wrong, you can always get your money back sell your uh, investment before it goes down and uh, if you're seeing that of course the project is uh, developing very well you can also increase your investment so this is not a financial advice of course i'm not a financial advisor i'm not a financial expert this is for entertainment purposes only Digital US dollar on its way, says Federal Reserve. Extensive research underway for US central bank digital currency. The one way ETH burn that will kickstart Ethereum 2.0. With final preparations for the launch of Ethereum 2.0 soon to be underway, Coindesk's Christine Kim spoke with developers Ro Jordan and Eduardo Diaz about what's left to do and what comes next. I will put the link to this article in the description so you can check it out and listen to the interview. And let's finish with Ethereum 2.0 frequently asked questions. 
Ethereum 2.0, also called ETH2 or Serenity, is the next upgrade to the Ethereum blockchain. Ethereum 2.0 will be released in multiple phases, starting in 2020 with phase 0. Each phase will improve the functionality and performance of Ethereum in different ways. There are two primary improvements introduced by Ethereum 2.0 that uh, do not exist in Ethereum 1. Proof of stake and shard chains. Ethereum 2.0 is planned to be rolled out in at least three phases. Phase 0, 1 and 2. Phase 0 is planned to launch in 2020 with phase, uh, phases 1 and 2 to be released in following years. Ethereum 2.0 will primarily benefit the scalability, throughput and security of the Ethereum public mainnet. So phase 0 of Ethereum 2.0 will launch in 2020. Let's hope it is going to launch this year if there are no delays. Can I buy Ethereum 2.0 Ether? There is no way to buy Ethereum 2.0 Ether since there will not be a new type of ETH token. Uh, many people were thinking that uh, there is going to be some new kind of ETH token. And here you can see the answer. No, there is not going to be a new type of ETH token. Ethereum 2.0 is just the upgrade and it's not uh, it's not going to be new token. How can I become a validator for Ethereum 2.0? One can become a validator on the Ethereum 2.0 network by depositing 32 ETH. This can be done in one of two ways. You can run your uh, own validator node and stake the ETH yourself. The second option is to stake your ETH using a staking provider, a number of which will likely come to market in the weeks and months before the launch. There will be both custodial and non-custodial staking services offered. So the rest of the questions and answers you can check on the site. I will put a link to this site in the description. Okay, guys, this was it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell button. See you next time.